Hey, greetings and welcome. We're taking a look at 2009, kneecap question number 17. Uh, this question is worth one point, and back in the day, our students scored on average 0.4 of that one point, and the state scored on average 0.5 of that one point. So you could, I don't know if they were doing partial credit for this, I'm guessing not, but I think we could assume that 40% of our students got this right, roughly. So uh, this problem says the parabola, so first of all, we'd have to know what a parabola is, so... I think you learned that possibly math one, math two, I don't know, depending. Uh, shows the relationship between the amount of money a baker earns uh, from bread sales each day. So earns, sales, I'm guessing. And the price the baker charges for each loaf of bread. So the price of bread is on the x-axis. It says, based on the parabola, what price should the baker charge for each loaf of bread to earn the greatest amount of money from bread sales each day? So we want uh, this number to be maximized, right? And we don't actually care about the price of the bread overall as long as we're getting the maximum sales. Now, does it actually use the word profit here? No, it just says sales. Hmm. Because what if he's having more money come in, but he's also spending more money to make the bread because he's selling more loaves, I'd consider profit being a better analysis for this particular baker, but we'll let him keep rolling with what he wants. So looking at this, the maximum sales seems to occur, he seems to pull in about $400, and the question is, where does he pull that in? What was the price of the bread? You might be able to guesstimate uh, that it's kind of the midpoint between those two, which was halfway between $2 and $2.50. So you might have been able to guesstimate that and say 225, which I believe is the correct answer. <coughs> Whoa, we just had an air high five and then an interception of the air high five. It's as if the air high five was following a parabolic, parabolic path and then someone like jumped in and was like, ha ha, it's pretty like, great. Okay, no comment. Um, so the other fact that might have helped you realize this, I don't know if you guys know stuff about uh, these values here or the x-intercepts, that's when he would have earned zero dollars, that the maximum point here occurs halfway between those x-intercepts. So the midpoint between zero and 4.5 or the average between those two things uh, is also 2.25. So that's kind of a more exact way to have found the solution. Um, dividing what, what? 4.5 divided by 2. Is, yeah, 2.25, I believe, yeah. 50 cents divided by 2 is a quarter. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, uh, so there we go, friends. Hope you have a great day.